I'm Caroline Paquita, and I play bass currently in the band Forgetters. Um, I'm also, besides play, uh, having played bass for about 12 years, I'm a visual artist and do zines and a lot of other visual art like painting, drawing, sewing, kind of everything. Um, I'm originally from Miami, grew up in Miami 18 years, was there trying to get into punk. It was a difficult scene down there just because Miami's so just terribly strange. I love it. I love it. But uh, there's not such a huge scene down there except for back in the day, like maybe some uh, scam punks or other awesomeness like Los Canadians. But um, soon after... Well, I moved from Miami to Chattanooga, Tennessee, of all places, um, because the punk rockers I knew in Miami, we were all migrating to this land where there's awesome shows. And I had no, I was supposed to maybe move to Gainesville, and I did not want to do it. But after a while, I kind of was forced to go to school in Gainesville, and um, that's where I began playing music with um, Samantha Jones. We started uh, Bitchin'. And that was my first band. And we were together for like um, about five years or so and put out a couple seven inches and a full length. Um, all the records were on No Idea except for one that was on a German label, label that seemed to fold pretty quickly. But um, while I lived in Gainesville, I was involved with uh, Wayward Council for a long time and did a lot of art there and try to do benefits and keep the space open, booked a lot of shows, toured with Bitchin', um, was in school, and um, I don't know, it's just something, all these different projects have been, a lot of them have been a labor of love, we can put it that way, um, and it's only now then in my 30s that um, some of this work is coming back, you know, just from having done art for so long or playing music that, um, you know, I can have like a little Etsy store and people will say, oh, I've seen your work, you know, in this mural or like a slingshot cover or something like that. But, um, so it's been a lot of work, but it's something that I probably would have done. I mean, it's just something that drives me to make art and music and um, when I had there was a period of time when my arms I had a really intense repetitive stress injury where I couldn't um, really use my arms to draw or play music and I really it drove me nuts and uh, it's been in the past couple of years to be able to get back into everything full force has been really gratifying and uh, it's awesome. Um, I was really inspired, um, or what the, what has been a continual inspiration to me as a musician has been bands like Mission of Burma, which makes, it's, it's kind of music where like you almost don't even need to know the lyrics. It's their, their music is so emotive that, um, it just retains all these qualities that really, that really resonate with me and that's I would say a lot of my bass playing has been modeled on that um that kind of feeling that um they seem to put out there them and probably wipers and then some of the I know with bitchin it was you know obviously a band like Bikini Kill would be really important just because we're all women you know trying to deal with this sick society that really doesn't care for women actually but um so it's just been it's been interesting I mean it's hard for someone who plays music I actually don't know that much about other bands surprisingly enough I'm kind of asked a lot if I know what's going on and I don't because I tend to stay at home a lot and only really go to shows if we're playing them um, so it's a little bit of a Luddite in that sense. 
but um I respect and probably a little burned out from setting up shows for so long that you know where's it you need some time to work on your own work um so yeah for anybody who is wondering how to do whatever it is you want to do you have to first try it out you know like people uh, I'm often approached by particularly younger women who are interested in playing bass or guitar and they you know are wondering how you go about it and it's seriously it's a major just like practicing and playing with other people and trying to just get into the habit of using those muscles like the whether that's in your brain or in your actual like hand you know so I would say if I you know were to be giving out any advice that would be it just keep on doing it even if you don't think you're very good at it you will be good at it at some point.